Hi there, football enthusiasts. Guys, we wish to you always be welcomed back at home after victories, just like in this clip. Be sure to leave us a like, please, because that was an amazingly beautiful moment. Also, rate Kylian Mbappe's transfer to Real Madrid on a 10-point scale in the comments down below. How much do you believe that this time Donatello will eventually move to the Spanish Goliaths? And while you're typing, we better proceed to start. Let's get the show on the pitch. Luis Muriel has signed in as a new Orlando City player from Atalanta. Lionel Messi is the best footballer I've played against. Before that game at Camp Nou, I said, we are gonna win. 15 minutes into the game, Messi turned into an extraterrestrial. He did one, two, three, four goals. He ended the game. I have never experienced a situation like that. She wrote former Arsenal player Denilson. Being sacked by AS Roma is the one that has been hurting me more. In these three years, I refused to become new Portugal head coach with the best national team ever. I also had a big proposal from Saudi Arabia. Mourinho revealed on the Five podcast. Crystal Palace have appointed Oliver Glasner as new head coach. Roy Hodgson has been fired. Two-year contract for Glasner at CPFC. Hatafi have reacted to the news of Mbappe's decision to leave PSG at the end of the season with the following post on their social media platforms. Let's give Asalonis a like for trying to make us all laugh. The next three games of Bayern Munich will be crucial for the assessment of Tuchel's work at the club. Florian Plattenberg reports, Brian Diaz will be available to play for Real Madrid's next game versus Rayo Vallecano as his injury is not serious. PSG advisor Luis Campos is currently not planning to leave Paris Saint-Germain, despite Kylian Mbappe's exiting in June. Campos wants to stay and continue his project at PSG, with the Champions League as the main goal. And then he could go back to Portugal. Obama Young is now joint top goal scorer in UEL history. 30 goals with Dortmund, Arsenal, Barca, and now Marseille. The Emirates FA Cup has new television rights. TNT Sports will be the new home of the Emirates FA Cup from the 2025-26, reads the channel's statement. The interim midfielder Nicola Barella has agreed to pen a new contract with Nera Duri and remain at the club. His current contract expires in June 2026. The renewed one will be lasting until the summer of 2029. Romelu Lukaku on loan deal due to expire in June. Back to Chelsea or staying at Roma? It makes no sense to discuss that now. I'm focused on helping Roma to win, and then we will see at the end of the season. We could charge more than 120 euros per season ticket. If we charge 350 euros per season ticket, we would get 2 million euros extra. But what does that mean for us? The difference for a fan between 120 and 350 euros is enormous, and we do not believe that fans are like cows, which are milked. Football has to be for everyone. That is the biggest difference between us and England, former Bayern president Uli Hannes stated. The top 10 national teams in the world as ranked by FIFA are in your screens. Inter Miami will be the last club in my career. I cannot be more blunt. My family already knows about my decision. I don't know my date yet, but this is the last step in my career as a player. I have to think about how to arrange my life after this. Luis Suarez noted. I've spoken with Messi. He said that he wants me to come to Inter Miami, Neymar said. When I was in charge of Chelsea, I wanted to sign Lukaku and Van Dijk, Antonio Conte told. Barcelona want Alex Valle to challenge Alejandro Baldi for the left-back position next season. The Catalans have no intention to recruit a new player for this position. Barcelona are planning to make Sancho back Ronald Araujo a contract extension offer valid until 2029 or 2030. His salary will be significantly increased. As of this moment, Araujo earns around 10 million euros a year before tax. We are working on the plans for the summer transfer window. We plan in this construction what we have in the club and for the future. It's crucial to be on the same page. At Man United, you always need to look for better. Good is not good enough, Yorkton Hawk said. Ruben Loftus-Cheek now has six goals in his last eight games. Great form. West Bromwich Albion have confirmed that Shilin Patel is expected to complete his takeover next week. Neymar once again shocked everyone with his physique. Here's how he appeared at a recovery training session at Al Hilal. Let us remind you that the Brazilian is recovering from an ACL injury. Inter Miami must sell several footballers to ensure compliance with salary cap regulations ahead of the MLS deadline. Mikel Arteta is a long-term admirer of Neto, and Arsenal are expected to sign at least one forward this summer. Tottenham and Liverpool are also among his admirers. Wolves want a club record fee for the Portuguese. The former candidate for the Barcelona presidency, Victor Font, has turned to the club Socios with an offer to lead the management. We must turn the page on the management model from the 80s of the last century, Font's letter stated. 
Ay simulan CEO Forlani ang Giroud deal due to expire in June. It's early to discuss his future, but doors are open if he wants to stay. MLS clubs are pushing to sign Giroud since October. Callum Wilson to undergo surgery on his pectoral tendon and will be missing for 9 to 12 weeks. Newcastle United Sporting Director Dan Ashworth has agreed to move to Manchester United. The Magpies are looking to receive a significant compensation package. I can't promise anything for next season. My wish at the moment is to stay at Benfica and then we will see. You never know. Claim Joao Nevish, who has been recently targeted by Manchester United and Man City. Brentford have made more profit in two seasons in the Premier League than Manchester United have in 31 seasons. Mike Mignon, New Deal? He is one of the best goalkeepers in the world and he still has two years left in his contract. We hope Mike stays with us for many years. AC Milan CEO Furlani said. Barcelona only consider two options with Frankie de Jong. Either he reduces his salary or he is sold. The club's renewal offer is so low compared to his current salary that the player could even consider it as an invitation to leave. Aaron Juan Bissaka will take some weeks because he picked up another injury in training last week. For Mason Mount and Tyrell Malasia, it'll take some more weeks, Ten Hag said. Alex Garcia responded to reports regarding Barcelona's interest in his services. I don't even think they have my phone number. Folks, if you're still, for some reason, not subscribed to our channel, then it's time to fix it. Thank you. Yesterday, we had the first legs of the Europa League and the Conference League's round of 16 played on European fields. All the results are in front of you. All right, we are moving on to the main news of the release. German manager Hans Dieter Flick and football agent Pini Zahavi have signed a cooperation agreement, Bill reports. The 58-year-old coach is keen to get back to work as soon as possible. Back in September, he got sacked as Germany's head coach after a five-game winless streak. There were reports suggesting that Flick might return to Bayern Munich. Interestingly enough, Zahavi is also known to be the agent of Robert Lewandowski, who moved from the German side to Barcelona, who are also interested in Hans Dieter. Barcelona have received offers for the transfer of three players, Araujo, Frankie de Jong and Rafinha. The Spanish club is in a difficult financial situation, in particular due to the non-payment of 40 million euros by the German fund Libero. Barcelona should have already received its share for the sale of 10% of Barca Vision, though Libero is still delaying the payment. As a result, Blaugrana will be forced to sell some of their key performers this summer in order to improve the club's economic situation. Bayern are reportedly willing to pay more than 70 million euros for Araujo and double his salary. The footballer wants to stay, but Barcelona are open to consider selling the Uruguayan. Tottenham have submitted a 60 million euros bid for Frank de Jong and 70 million euros for Rafinha. Earlier on, the Ajax graduate always insisted on staying in Spain, but this season his opinion has changed. Laporte is in no hurry to accept Tottenham's offer for de Jong since he wants to get more money for the Dutchman. Besides, Barcelona have reportedly received another offer for Rafinha, which exceeds the 70 million euros mark. The club that has made it has not yet been named. Bayern Munich defender Alphonse Davies may become a Real Madrid player. According to Relevo, the Marengues have reached an agreement with him regarding the transfer move. However, before completing the deal, Los Blancos will still have to get the Munich team's consent and find out the exact transfer fee for the performer whose deal expires in the summer of 2025. Real Madrid's dressing room is confident in Davis's arrival, while the club's board believes that this transfer will not be easy to pull off. The hope that the deal can be sealed now, not in the last year of his contract, lies in the fact that Alfonso has repeatedly rejected offers to prolong his stay at Bayern Munich. Victor Osman and other players are being lined up to replace Mbappe at PSG. Zaira Emery and Chavez Simmons also being offered new contracts. PSG wants to get new players in the summer, especially in the midfield and in defense. They are thinking about Gavi, and they might try sign Bernardo Silva or Bruno Guimaraes. Mbappe has notified PSG president Nasser al Khelaifi of his departure from the club as a free agent. The terms of his departure has not yet been agreed upon, but it's highly likely that he will leave Paris this summer. Real Madrid had a fully prepared contract for Kylian Mbappe. The only thing left to do is to sign it. The Whites expect to officially land Kylian Mbappe in the coming days. Real Madrid's offer of a fixed salary for Kylian Mbappe is significantly lower than the one made in the summer of 2022, and also lower than his current PSG salary. Madrid's side wants the Frenchman to join the ranks on their terms after spending years on the saga. Kylian already has a contract offer in hand. About a week ago, Mbappe struck a deal with Real Madrid. Not a transfer deal though, but an agreement between the parties, informs journalist Ramon Alvarez-Demon.